Learn from this. Kung Lao wins. You know we ought to well. And I can't suppress the man. What is up guys, Reaper's Juice Hazard here and I'm giving you guys my Mortal Kombat 10 review after a, actually like 4 months of me holding it off. I'm sorry that this roof takes a little bit longer, I mean like it took a lot longer. The only reason why they take a lot longer is because at the time I wanted to review it, I didn't feel like I fully had my actual like attention for this game because I was playing so much other stuff. So like I decided recently I was going to play this game fully, I was going to go ahead and give this review out there since I already did Sniper Elite 3 and a lot of other people already have their reviews out so I decided you know what I'll go ahead and do my review and give you guys another unbiased opinion on a fighting game that caught a lot of people's eyes so is this game really worth it and if you haven't bought this game should you buy it well I'll let you know right now because I'm an unbiased opinion and you guys already know I don't fuck around so here we go okay? we fared better than the men add them to the list of things Shinnok will answer for Story. The story is just another one, just like Mortal Kombat 9 and Injustice. The story was actually pretty good in here, and it enhanced from the old past into the new past. Like, now it's a lot better. Like, they upgraded the story mode to make more sense and to tell a lot more. The story is just, think of Mortal Kombat 9, but instead of Shao Kwan, you got Shinnok. Shinnok's just an evil doer that comes from the other world, and he wants to take over the world with this new amulet that he has. So not spoiling much of the story, he basically just goes and starts attacking people, and so the special forces with some new members has to now fight back and they have to fight this bastard and try to bring up the uh try to bring up the world so it doesn't become into chaos it, the story mode does actually make a lot of sense and it, it is something to treat for gameplay Mortal Kombat 10 plays on a two-player fight on-screen fighting game. The engine is intense for Mortal Kombat 9 and Injustice, so it's already got its bank for its buck right there, especially on the PlayStation 4 consoles that it's already have. It's also got multiple game modes too, so you're already, but again, getting your bank for your buck, like Tower, Crypt, one player has the different types of modes like story mode, tower, single fight, let's test your luck, and training. The same kind of thing goes for a uh, single, second player too. Like if you're going two on two on two on the same screen with a buddy of yours or whatever, it's the same kind of scenario. But they got like test your luck and the towers and basically anything a Mortal Kombat 10 or Mortal Kombat game would kind of have. You already know it's going to be in here because it's going to be a remake. But like I said earlier, the combos are very easy to learn as long as the fatalities and they give you a special edition just like it's Injustice Three where you could put the combos you want to learn on the game so that way it's not too hard nor it's too easy so that way you can learn the combos and then they get something called like the release checks the, the like street fighter fans or something what have so you could fight better and you can make better combos and you could just basically enhance your fighting experience to make it better for all like at all ages to make it you know a lot more kind of base type fighting sk skills and to make your just fighting skills even better than it already is so there you go, multiple modes better than the other ones, like a lot more modes too. The some of them are not really like something you want to go with, like nothing you'll something you'll try, but you're just like, ah, it's there, whatever. Test your luck is pretty fun. At times it could get very intense and test your might is at the same way, but it's not as good as the regular modes as ready are in the game. So the online is very smooth. The multiplayer online is so smooth. I played a few of it. Uh, the only problem is that there's spammers all day on that fucking game. There's so many spammers that'll just sit there and spam like jacks or whatever. It's harder to get around of it. But other than that, the game's got a lot of good detail and there's a lot of to do in this game. The there's a lot of players to learn and every player has their every character has their own little three sh streaks. So. Not three streaks, my fault. One take. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Anyways, every player has three different variations. That way, there's basically like 75 characters in here. So, you got a lot to choose from in this game. And it's a lot that it will keep you going. So, yeah. What I hated. Now, there isn't a whole, whole lot that I hated in this game that is like break, game breaking. So, nothing really game breaking happened to me. But I'm not gonna lie. There is something that I thought was real bullshit in this game. So, yeah. 
One of them that I fucking hated for the passion is that when you get the game, they want you to pay for a character called Goru, where in like Mortal Kombat 9 and the other Mortal Kombat is already there, so they're basically just saying, here, if we buy a good character, you have to pay for it. And at the time, it was uh, you couldn't pay the $5 for it, you had to pay the actual $30 for the season pass. So like, that was really fucked up. They only That only came in a later patch later on. Another thing that I really hated was the crypt. It was where this thing where you just want, run around in like the crypt and you just go and collect like like you go and like buy like the statues or whatever and you get stuff out of it i thought that was pointless as fuck because there's so much like statues in that little crypt area and all of it's over like 5000 grand and you barely make like a barely 5000 grand in like a whole week so it's like well shit what am i supposed to do and then you get some good shit out of there cuz you get brutalities out of there you get like other uh, costumes and whatnot and i was feeling like i'd rather have them just make the costumes and the brutalities and other stuff just out of fights like every time you win you get a cool thing or in a few every few hours or something and the last thing that i really hated was the faction mode right, right when you get the game they tell you to pick a faction and then when you pick the faction it's like something you're representing really there's only two good factions to pick one pick from and the other three or they're just getting their ass kicked out the whole way through so that was really pointless as fuck but other than that that's about it final verdict there is no doubt that there is a lot of fun to be made for basically anybody that's in love with fighting games or kicking somebody's ass. So, I gotta rate this game for my final result, like my final rating, is gonna be an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend this game to anybody and if you don't have this game yet what the fuck is wrong with you like everybody else's reviews are really good about it yeah there's a few flaws but it's not game breaking so if you own a ps4 or xbox one this is a must have game it is a strong contender for game of the year and i do believe that it's gonna make it a long way in, like in the future it's gonna be a good fighting game and it's just already out in tournaments and everything so thank you guys for watching like always but you guys already know i gotta go